Okay, Matt in Arizona, I got your order here. You got a Washington, you got some fans, you got an NM532. You got all kinds of stuff going on here. So I'm gonna get everything squared away and I'll probably pop in, not that it's really a big secret how the fans go on and stuff, but I'll probably pop in when I have the radio opened up and uh, just kind of show the fan installation really quick. So I'll be back. All right, so we got one of our fans here. They're not very big, you know, they, obviously the heat sink, you know, they'll fit perfectly, but they plug right into the board. So we can see, you know, you got your plus and minus on the board. So that's a, the one important thing you want to make sure the red is positive, black is negative, of course. And as long as you do that, you should be fine. Um, there's a little area for the wires to come out. So, you know, you would just make sure that when you shut the lid that, um, you know, you would have your wires positioned down in here so that way they don't get, uh, you know, broken when you shut the uh, back of the cover. Or the, this is the bottom side of the radio, so when you put the bottom cover on, because you're going to put that screw, there's a screw right here that goes through the back right here, so... So I make sure that's that's down, and then it kind of sits down in this area. I don't foresee like once we once we put that on there, um, probably the better way to go about it is going to be to try to keep some of the cord in. I'm assuming like that. That way we don't have any chance of that coming out. Um, I don't know if anyone else has ever ran into that because there's a lot of guys that have put, you know, aftermarket fans on these and I, I never, um, well, first of all, I didn't keep one for myself. Everyone I had sold, so I probably am going to keep one of these for myself anyways because I'm going to put the fans on it for me too, but, um, yeah, it doesn't look very difficult, so I'm going to put both fans on and then I'll come back and show that. All right, so the fans are on. Um, I wouldn't say that you'd want to torque them down or anything, but that's with anything. So they're definitely on, the grills are on. So I'm going to put the bottom cover on the radio and we're gonna make sure that these are sitting down in those slots. Because I don't need to do anything else under here. So what we're gonna see is you're gonna have those wires right there. There's nothing you can really do about that. The fans are on the radio now. Sorry about the, it's not focusing too well. There we go, there's the radio. So the fans are now part of the heat sink. So it does add a little bit of depth to the back of the radio. So let's see. What does it add? I have a tape measure right here. So I'd say the heat sink's probably about an inch and an eighth. And then the heat sink, uh, or I'm sorry, with the fan, it's like an inch and three quarters. So what does it add? Like maybe a little over a half an inch or something. So it's not going to add a ton of room. But it does add a little bit. So that's to be expected so but they look nice on there and everything um assuming that they'll turn on when they need to i have noticed with these radios that even though the fan hasn't been on any of them when i test them and when i set them up for other customers that i've sold these to there's a certain point when the radio reach, reaches a certain i think it's like a protection temperature where the power actually cuts back and i think that's like a safety feature or something maybe because like i'll notice when the radio's on of course, this one's not on yet, but when you have the RF indicator up here, it'll actually start flashing. And I'm assuming maybe they speak about that in the manual or something. But uh, nonetheless, with the fans on, I think that that's going to help alleviate that from happening. Now, I don't know if, you know, guys talking on these radios will get them that hot anyways. But um, generally speaking, I mean, I get them super hot here. So I'm definitely going to put the fans to work and see how well they work. So now I'm going to do the Mars mod and stuff, and um, they give you a bunch of stickers. So you get like two for each fan, uh, which is kind of interesting, but 
uh, they're kind of difficult to get off the side of the radio. I'm going to try to get them off. Actually, they're not too bad. I think I can literally just get them off with my fingernail. And um, I actually need to clip them. So it's probably a good thing that I didn't yet today. But I'm going to get them off with my fingernail. And then I'm going to take some of that goo off, that like adhesive remover. And I will, um, you know, get, them all, get all the goo off there. And then I'll just put the new fans on. Yeah, they come off pretty easy, so... So the any tone ones sometimes were difficult the on the quad five n twos and stuff that they they were shipping them with so yeah these come off pretty easy so I'll get the goo off and clean off that uh, the little bit of stickiness there and then um, push those off on the floor or in the vacuum later in here or something but yeah they're going to come off quite easily so I'm going to do your Mars mod and that's going to be here it's just uh I just use a zero ohm trim down and just run it right across these two points and then it's all good so I'll do that I'm going to do your top cover too and get the sticker off that and then try to clean that off really quick and then we'll be back in business with this one All right, so we got the fans on. I went into the settings and I just turned down the protection level to like 20C um, so that the fans would pretty much just run. So this is FM. I haven't put the jumper on or anything yet, but just want to make sure the fans are working and they are. So this is like almost 50 watts on FM, so 45 watts or something. So it's working and you know, the fans are working good. They're not very loud or anything, so but they do move some air. I can definitely feel the air moving along these heat sinks. So they are working good. They're pretty quiet, so I think it'll definitely help the radio. It's at 104 degrees Fahrenheit right now, so I'm not sure how hot these will actually get, but uh, anything moving air off those fins will probably be more helpful than, than harmful, that's for sure. So now I'm going to unhook the radio and continue on with the... Uh, with the Mars conversion on this thing so that way we can get the full option of the radio. Uh, the radio doesn't do 15 meters so it's only 12 and 10 and everything in between. Um, so if you're looking for other bands uh, this radio only gives you what I just said so you know, it only has some some good features and stuff. It's a good looking radio. I'm gonna probably like I say keep one of these definitely for myself. I have the Washington or I'm sorry, I have the, the George FCC, the George 2, and I want to have one of these too because I, I like these radios. So uh, I'll be back when I'm done with the, um, with the Mars. Let me see if I powered off the part on. Does it just come on, the fans? Yeah, I think at 20 they just come on. So, you know, if you want to let them run all the time, you could. You don't have to, though. Also, that's something with a little experimentation. You can figure out what's going to be the best way for you as a user of the radio and when you want the fans to engage because it does have a thermostat control on there and they will kick on when you basically tell it to in the menu. Okay, there's the, uh, the bridge of the two circuit, the bridge of the circuit there. It's just a zero ohm resistor. That's all I use. I just trim them and then just solder the legs on. And that's it. And now I'll put the cover back on the radio and I'll go through the alignment and then yours is going to be ready to send off. I'll put a battery in your mic and set the mic type to dynamic and all that good stuff for you. Alright, so we're back on the Washington here. I put your stickers on, the new, new stickers. Each side's got a sticker. Um, there are some extras that I'll include with the radio. What I'll probably do is just tuck them inside like the front cover of one of the manuals or something. Um, also there's like documentation with the fans so I'll, I'll include that. So the fans are running. Maybe you guys can hear them on the camera. I'm not sure but I'm going to change that now. up to 50 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit off the top of my head, but 
but uh, I'd imagine it's got to be quite a high temp in Fahrenheit, at least probably over 90 degrees or something. So um, I don't think the fans are going to kick on for some time now. So we're going to go in and uh, change a couple settings here. First we'll do, again, I, I haven't seen this before, so I'm wondering maybe if something was changed. Because I don't remember this on the original ones. And I'm not trying to say that they've already made a different firmware version, but... I just, I don't know, I don't remember this feature, and maybe I just looked looked over it. I don't know, you guys can let me know, like I say. Um, one, two, three, four, five is what we want here. So if you ever reset the full menu, you're going to have to redo this part right here. So now we're back, it comes up on the magic band. Um, we're going to do, yeah, if you do the reset... It's going to do that. Get rid of that annoying key beep. Frequency. I want SWR. Uh, I want temp. Yeah, that's fine. And I want to turn on span. I'm going to switch this to dynamic because we're going to run the aftermarket mic. I like span on. If you guys get these and you don't like it, you can easily switch it off. So that's up to you guys. Um, and yeah. I'm going to do the alignment part now, and I'll come back and show the radio when it's done. Okay, Matt, this is going to be the last clip. Um, so i got you all set here. The span is on, so you can tap the channel selector, and it will move anywhere you want to go. 12 meter, or below 12 meter there, but um, any, any, any step size from anywhere that you see, you can adjust. You can go down and get the one or whatever, the low, the one kilohertz. So anywhere you want to really go with this, you can just by doing this. So it's kind of like if the radio has a VFO mode, even though it's a span setting. The span setting on this reminds me a lot of the span setting on like your old um, HR2510 or, or original Lincoln. This is kind of like the span setting that it had, like when we're moving the little arrow, the little line. I think those radios had. I just had a good QSO with a guy in Portugal today, and he was on an original Lincoln MK1, and he sounded fantastic. And then we talked about the HR2510, and he said how rare those were in Europe, which is surprising because we had an ample amount of Lincolns here in the U.S. as well as tons of HR2510s, but. It's just diff it's it's interesting to me how things um, are different in certain parts of the world when it comes to our radios. So we may hear the fans come on at times. Um, that's just going to be what it is because the fans are you know set to the temperature. Now I did I did turn up the temperature so. You know, the temperature on the, on the uh, setting is a little higher now. It's at that 50 Celsius, so um, they probably will kick on on their own. That's what they should do. And when they need to, they will come on. Um, but anyways, we're on AM mode right now, and the carrier's at like 16. And then the peak envelope power somewhere. It's going to be somewhere between 60 and in the 70s usually on this radio. So I'm assuming that, uh, you know, when the radio heats up here in a minute or two, probably more or less if we keep talking, I feel the heat sink getting hot. The fans will kick on, whether or not the camera picks them up, I guess, is what it is. But they are on and they are active. So here's our spectrum analyzer for 20 kilohertz on AM. So that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, there goes the fans right there. So they're not too, too loud or anything, you know. Obviously, if you're sitting in a quiet room or something, you're going to hear them, but... It's not like a real obtrusive sound or anything like it's going to blow you out of the chair or anything like that. So there's some fans out there that are really noisy and you wouldn't want to listen to those. So that's just my take on that. But one, two, three, four, five, check, check, hello. Actually, the radio just cranked up in power for a minute there. But one, two, one, two, hello, radio. So it's doing really good and... Uh, Go to single sideband now and look at that. One, two, three, four, five, check, check. Here's single sideband on the uh, spectrum analyzer. So it's super clean here too. Um, this is the uh, 
20 kilohertz. Again, I didn't change anything on the screen. The radio's showing about 65 watts, 70 watts right now. So again, we want a little bit cleaner output. We're going to lose a little bit of power on the, on the output, but not a ton or anything. Actually, now it's showing uh, here. It's hard to do this, but not, now it's showing like 75. So um, it is important to know that you know this is a full-fledged 80 watt radio, so it's not going to really give you more than that. So the other model will definitely give you a little higher power than that. So this one is more capped at the what the box says is realistic for this one. Um, oh yeah, I did do a test on this earlier today on this Washington, and I found that on SSB, like the audio response, the audio passband is about three point some odd kilohertz. So it's, you know, I injected some white noise into the front mic socket and uh, with some of the settings on the spectrum analyzer, I was able to see it's about three point something kilohertz. So it, it's pretty good, you know, it's got some good audio response and stuff. It doesn't do the four or anything, but, oh, uh, sorry about that. The goo gone just tipped, fell over and it wanted to leak on the floor, although the cap was on it and stuff, but still, um, I don't want to clean up a mess later. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. The fans are running. And the radio's at 111 degrees right now. Actually, I think they just shut down on us. So I'm trying to figure out like when are they gonna when are they gonna turn on? Versus uh, you can see as I speak, the temp the temp is going up. There's our 80 or something right there. So you know it's still gonna hover right around where it should. You just have a cleaner signal now, which is better for everybody. Um, now the temp is up to 118. I'm trying to just figure out when are they going to turn on. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. Hello. I'm trying to just, you know, heat this. There they go. About 122. It looks like they're going to kick on. And uh, I'm assuming that if you keep talking, I don't know if they ramp up in intensity or not. I don't think they do. I don't think they have that um, capability. I think they just run at a constant level. But um, I think it's going to do good for cooling this thing off a lot quicker than without them. So it's a good investment for this radio if that's something that, you know, you have this radio, I would recommend putting some fans on it versus not. Although I think you'd be safe even if you didn't have them. I don't think that the radio is going to like self-destruct or anything due to some heat. So, you know, it, it's, it's pretty robust. I think that heat sink's pretty good. It's like the whole back of the radio is a big heat sink. So... Plus you have the bedded slots on the top and bottom, so I think it's going to be good. Um, obviously I think the fans are coming through the, the camera. And yes, they do make noise, so be aware of that. I mean, they, with anything, when the air is moving, they will make some noise. So if I move the camera closer, maybe we can hear it. I don't know, maybe we could already hear it. but. They just shut. They just shut off. So they don't run for very long. Um, if that means anything to anybody, but they're on there good, and uh, that's pretty much it, Matt. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap on your radio, and um, I think there's one other customer that I gotta put some fans on his too. That he just ordered today, so. But I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for today. So. Appreciate the order and appreciate your patience as always, and I will get this ready to ship out to you on Monday, 73.